Devotees of the Sacred Heart of Jesus know our saint for today, Saint Margaret Mary Alacoc, who loves silence, prayer, and self-denial. She is the nun to whom Jesus entrusted the mission to propagate devotion to His Sacred Heart. Saint Margaret was born in the Duchy of Burgundy, France on July 22, 1647. Even as a young girl, she was very devoted to the Blessed Sacrament and inclined to prayer and sacrifices. She often spent her nights in prayer and practiced many sacrifices. As a child, she got sick of rheumatic fever and was sick for four years. She prayed to the Blessed Virgin and promised to become a nun and added Mary to her name if she would be cured. At 17, her mother encouraged her to socialize and find a husband. Forgetting her childhood vow, she started attending parties and dances. For four years, she amused herself with the world as much as possible. She was sought after by several young men. God, however, protected her and preserved her from sin. Then one night, returning from a ball, she had a vision of Jesus, wounded and bloody, reminding her of her vow. She immediately changed her lifestyle and promised to follow Jesus. Soon, she entered the convent of the Visitation Nuns, and at once she was subjected to many trials, God's design to test her vocation. She was not allowed to make her vows according to established rules and was assigned to the task she disliked, but she remained patient, humble, kind and persevering. Meanwhile, Jesus began to show her how the devotion to the Sacred Heart should be practiced and try them herself. He complained to her about the ingratitude and sins of many whom He loved, sparing nothing, even death on the cross. But her superiors and some theologians who knew about her visions refused to believe her. She was fortunate that the community confessor, Saint Claude de la Colombière S.J., declared that her visions were authentic. A few years later, the Jesuits themselves took the responsibility of propagating the devotion to the Sacred Heart. But it was only after 75 years that it was officially recognized by the Church. When Sister Margaret died on October 17, 1690, at 42 years of age, the Church affirmed her heroic virtues, but without official commendation of the devotions she practiced. Her body remained incorrupt and many pilgrims came to seek her intercession. She was canonized by Pope Benedict XV. In 1928, Miserentissimus Redemptor by Pope Pius XI affirmed the Church approval of her visions. Dear Jesus, teach us to be prayerful. May we learn to give up so much comfort and the pleasure of this world.